Hello, thanks for joining me today as I introduce a new offering from Talent, our data quality service. In a recent survey conducted by Gartner, it was estimated that poor data quality costs organizations an average of $12.9 million per year. So if bad data quality is so costly, why aren't organizations more actively addressing the problems? The truth is, many of them are trying. However, they are finding that solving data quality issues can be quite challenging. Let's take a look at some of those challenges. First, we see that data volume, variety, and velocity is a key challenge. Simply put, the sheer volume and number of existing data sources pose problems when dealing with data quality. Stewards are not able to keep up with the demands put on them to manually fix data quality issues that present themselves in their data sets. Also, we see that new applications and systems are being implemented and coming online all the time. This adds to the number of data sets that an organization must manage. The variety of these known and even unknown sources bring with them countless different data types and structures, which increases the difficulty of data integrations. With so many different technologies being used by organizations, it makes it difficult to improve data quality in each system. And lastly, data velocity refers to the speed in which data is generated, distributed, and collected. So while we are still struggling with data silos, systems are more interconnected than ever before. That means that when data has an issue, it often gets propagated through to other systems and applications rather quickly. Next we see tools complexity. Many of our existing systems, application, and integration tools are not designed to protect against bad data quality entering in or through them. And they're certainly not designed to improve it. Attempts at configuring or repurposing functionality in these systems is difficult to do and even harder to maintain. Additionally, some of the data quality specific tools are complex to use and don't necessarily solve all the issues anyway. We're also seeing a lack of access to experts. People with the needed business expertise, those that can help fix the issues, often referred to as stewards or custodians, are also very busy. It is at times hard to get their attention and time commitments. There are also demands for technical skills and resources in order to translate the business rules into technical implementations of data quality issue solving solutions. Lastly, data quality governance is a skill in and of itself. Certain strategies and implementation frameworks come from having experience. Access to these types of resources may be problematic or cost prohibitive for some organizations. We're also seeing an exponential increase in the demand for analytics. So not only are data volumes growing at light speed, but the demand and requirements for analytics are growing as more and more organizations make the transition to being data driven. With this exponential demand on analytics, our data analysts and data scientists are requesting greater access to more and more data. Unfortunately, data quality is often sacrificed in lieu of availability. Lastly, there is very little consensus around data quality. So to date, there has not been a single unified set of data quality dimensions or standards. This challenge exists both externally and internally to the organization. Common data quality dimensions exist, however, different groups within the organization may have unique data quality requirements, including perceived importance on one data quality dimension over another, how to solve the problematic records, or even which issues really need solving. So as we can see, there are quite a few challenges when organizations are tasked with solving data quality. And let's be honest, these are just some of the big ones. So what if there was an easier way? Well, we believe there is. And the solution is our Talon Data Quality Service. The Data Quality Service is a subscription-based service offering where we bring in an industry-leading set of data quality tools and a proven framework along with our team of experts to help manage data quality as an operational asset, ultimately removing the difficult tasks of improving data quality from your long list of responsibilities all the while providing cleansed, certified, and standardized data to the many consumers of valuable organizational data. We will also generate numerous dashboards, reports, and provide insights so that you're always kept up to speed with the health status of the data under management. This allows us to provide data quality trends of your data over time through continuous monitoring across various data quality KPIs. 
Alerts and notifications can be set in case that specifically defined thresholds have been exceeded. You can then use these alarms as triggers to integrate into your own operational workflows. Or you can automate other corrective actions that will be automatically applied based on custom quality rules we'll work with you to define. In the end, the Data Quality Service is designed to help organizations provide the highest quality data to end consumers, whether they be users or systems all the while providing rich data quality intelligence. So all right, let's take a look at what's involved to get started using Talon's data quality service. To get started, there are a few tasks that we'll have you perform. In order to onboard a data set to the data quality service, we begin with working with a single person or maybe a set of users to help identify an appropriate data set. Typically, we expect this user to well understand these data sets. Maybe they understand some of the data quality issues with the data, or simply they just need good, clean data. Typical users of the Talon Data Quality Service include business users, data stewards, data scientists, and or data engineers. To begin, that user or users will provide us access to the data set via Talon Cloud. If you're already a Talon Cloud customer, fantastic. Otherwise, we'll help provision you an instance and get you set up in no time. Next, the user populates and submits a DQS request. This is done by filling out a document which provides an initial set of details regarding the data set and some basic requirement information if it's available. Now it's our turn to do some work. We'll take a look at those steps shortly, but first I'll just conclude with your last step. The DQS outputs that we generate in the first phase are used to provide valuable insights back to the DQS stakeholders. We'll use a set of profiling analyses, data quality reports, and dashboards to provide feedback and recommendations. We'll then work with the data owner to help define some critical information such as custom business rules or standards. During this iterative and interactive process, we'll work with the stakeholders and review the outputs to determine if any new rules or standards should be applied. So let's now look at some of the behind the scenes work that our talent experts will perform during this iterative process. So one of the first things we're going to do is profiling. Once our team receives the data set, we, be we begin by doing a data profiling exercise. Talon's DQ platform offers a number of different types of profiling analyses, and we'll use a combination of those to apply a set of indicators which will help us understand and identify characteristics about your data. Next, we apply some data quality rules. Here we'll, set up, we'll apply a set of DQS library rules to the analyses. These library rules are a collection of common data quality rules that we've curated through our experience of working with thousands of customers. This will help us understand more about the data set under management and how it stacks up against a combination of data quality dimensions. After that, we'll add to those standardization rules. So in this step, we'll create a transformation process where we apply the same library rules and custom rules to the data set and create a standardized set of data. We'll use the output of this process and the results of the profiling steps as inputs into the next step. And that next step is feedback. Here is where we engage in that iterative process where we'll share the profiling and analysis results along with the standardized data set back to your team of DQS service personas. We expect these personas to be those people in the organization, again, who know the data set best and who are the ones that actually need it to be of the highest quality. We'll work with your team to define even more custom profiling and standardization rules, which are unique to your business, industry, and data quality requirements. Through a number of iterations, we'll get to a state in which everyone feels that the data set under DQS management is now certified and fit for purpose, to be consumed by your internal processes, systems, and applications. And lastly, we'll generate some more information as the service continues in a business-as-usual process. As part of the data quality service, we'll continue to monitor and improve and notify and provide feedback relating to the data set ensuring the highest of quality data is provided for the organization to use. So now let's take a moment to review some of those different types of assets we will use and we will deliver as part of the data quality service. 
Here you can see some examples of some of the resources that the team of DQ experts at Talon will use to analyze your data set. In the top left, we see a profiling dashboard, which is essentially a curated set of statistics regarding all of the detailed analyses that will be generated as part of our team's analysis and investigation into the data sets under management. The screenshot you can see in the top right is just a more detailed and hierarchical view of the reports pertaining to a specific data set. We'll have a great set of summary statistics and indicator values for us to be able to dig further into the details. It also helps us manage the details of the numerous reports that we'll gather regarding your data. And here lastly you can see in the bottom screenshot a brief example of a pattern analysis done on a specific column. Keep in mind this is just the tip of the iceberg as it relates to all the data that we'll be gathering on the data sets under management through the data quality service. As mentioned in the previous slide, it is a collection of this information which will be presented to you as part of the feedback process, where we'll work with you and your organization to share our findings, insights, and recommendations. And once the first couple rounds of interactions of the feedback process concludes, we'll also be providing certain dashboards through our ongoing monitoring activities. These dashboards and reports will then be made available to you and those important DQS stakeholders. So let's take a look at one of those dashboards now. Here is the data quality dashboard view of the data quality service. This dashboard is a critically important for all consumers of DQS, including the organization's leadership, because this gives us an overview of the quality of all data sets that are under management by DQS over time. Some key highlights on the dashboard include the DQ score that is calculated based on the combined data quality rules on each data set and the ability to align each of those rules to the dimensions of data quality as defined by DAMA. We can also categorize our data sets by different facets, such as department, domain, or initiative. But most critically, there's the ability to track the quality of our data sets over time. We, of course, provide you the ability to drill into this data, to look at the different data at different points in time, or to filter by critical data fields. And speaking of different points in time, here's an example of a trending analysis regarding critical data elements over a certain period of time. Our ability to monitor the data sets over time is a key feature to the Talon Data Quality Service. So let's take a look at an example. Here we look at a summary of all the critical fields in our customer's data set across time. In our customer data set across time, excuse me. What you will see here is a typical pattern for many data sets. We start at the beginning when the data set is being onboarded to the Data Quality Service with a baseline DQ score for this data set, which we can see is quite low. As more time passes on, we get more data quality, data quality issues actually creep into the source systems. Then, when we start to use the outputs of DQS to proactively fix these issues and improve the data quality in the source system, then we can see improvements beginning to take place. Then we see another round of fixes, again leveraging DQS outputs. And finally, we get to business as usual situation with the data set under management. The data quality has been substantially approved in source, but that doesn't mean that the issues won't reoccur. We can see another dip in data quality with our ongoing monitoring and proactive notification, allowing us to rapidly fix the issues. And lastly, let's take a look at two other important assets of the data quality service. First here, we see a drill through report, which focuses on the problematic records that have failed the that have failed the library and or custom rules. Your organization's data custodians or data stewards can leverage this report to identify and then go and fix the issues in the originating systems and sources. It may also become a valuable resource to point out some broken processes or integrations that require attention. It'll provide evidence that can be shared with some of the other data integration engineering teams. Next, we can see on the right hand side here, a sample of the standardized data set. This data set will be made available in Talon Cloud and also available to the source that originally provided the data set. From there, data stewards, engineers, and integration specialists can review the standardized and cleansed data and decide how and where it needs to go. So we believe that it's time for data to be treated as an operational asset. And just like organizations treat system operations with real-time monitoring, alerting, and corrective action, data needs the same time and focus. 
In today's world, we know that our systems are more and more connected. Therefore, bad data being fed into one system, for whatever the reason, is quickly propagated through the data ecosystem. Therefore, it is even more important for us to ensure that the correct, high quality, standardized data is being shared across the organization. So as the last step in data, Talon's data quality service, as mentioned, we'll provide back to you the standardized data set in the store, storage layer of your initial choosing. From there, it can then be integrated by your developers downstream to all of your interconnected processes, applications, systems, and ultimately people. So by leveraging Talon's data quality service, you'll get to enjoy the benefits of healthy data while alleviating your other valuable engineers analysts and developers to focus on other activities. Leave the data quality management to us. We've got the experience, the tools, the framework, and the desire to help. With that, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to spend with me as I introduce to you the Talon Data Quality Service. If you'd like to learn more, please contact a Talon representative today. Thank you.